protects you. away. I've got you in my sights. You see but a fraction of the universe. Over time. Fide by to you. Kitsune no kagizume o takirate. Kunzu, mu shizo. The objective is now active. Thanks, mate. Thank you. 
Drive with those, the mic is live. Good luck. <laughs> Alright, so we have Cosmic Swarm as the tank. He's done. It looks like it's going to be Team White here. And we're coming up to 96%. It looks like Owu is not going to be able to reach the point in time. And he's going to go into a third round, one to one. Alright, and we'll see what happens coming into this third round here. It's been a pretty even game. Both sides playing very well. It looks like they're going to go with a little more aggressive push here. The Junkrat and Genji duo. And let's see if the esports team here, Alha Wesleyan, can bring it home. Looks like the fight is going to start on high ground. A great rock there by Cosmic Swarm. Both sides very aggressive. They were able to get an early pick. Two early picks there for Ohio Wesleyan. And as the Kiriko gets low, they struggle to survive. Looks like they're going to take out the soldier. And as the fight moves back towards the enemy spawn. They have the early cap here for Ohio Wesleyan. They're going to be able to build up that percentage, trying to hold it down. We have Luke here switching from Soldier to Reaper. Looking for a counter for that Winston. Winston dives in, but gets pushed back due to the Reaper. They're starting to push the point, but Hot Wesley holding their ground. A big alt there by Lucio saving the team. Looks like they're going to be able to pick off the Junkrat. Primal Rage used by the other team's Winston. Causing Reaper to phase. He's low and he's getting picked off. Big anti there. That's going to be used against the Sigma and Lucio. Ah, Sigma gets picked. And they're going to take the point. Looks here. Oh, big ult by Mei trying to keep the point alive. It's just going to be Mei and Kiriko. Alright, and so now... Uh, the other team has capped the point. Ohio Wesleyan got it up to 75%. We have Kiriko, the only one here with all Sigma and... Reaper close to it um, and on the other team we have their Genji 
Junkrat, Kiriko, and Ana with AWP. So let's see what we can do here. This is just going to be a power struggle. They're going to want to come in, try to take the point, and end this while the other team has to defend. Reaper going up for the high ground. We have a Brigida now on our team. Sigma with a big alt. That's going to take out Genji, Junkrat, and the Ana on the other team. And Ohio Wesleyan is going to take the point back. Now it's going to be about 80% to 39%. Ohio Wesleyan coming close to the end here. If they can hold it down, they'll be able to take the first win. Coming up to the last 10% here. The other team's going to have to try to touch the point. Winston's going to be able to touch. Big Reaper ult. That's going to take out the Junkrat, Kirko, and Ana. Genji's low. He's gone. Winston trying to stay alive with the Primal Rage. He's the only one there, and he's by himself. He's not going to be able to hold on. Ohio Wesleyan's going to take the first round of the three matches. Alright, and so that first round's over. That was going to be a three-point map of Capture the Point. Ohio Wesleyan comes home with the first win. If we can take another win, that will be the end there. Um, but if the other team wins, it will be a tie. And we'll do best of three.
so it looks like the next map that we're going to be playing on next is going to be circuit royale that map is going to be a push to payload map uh, this one's really good i would say for long range um, fun to play with snipers if you're into that um, but let's see what kind of team that each side tries to build here and once they're ready up we'll start up this match before we get started just a reminder we have cosmic swarm here that's going to be your captain also the tank that's alex germ is going to be luke he's one of our dps players apex shadow as well it's matt he's another one of our dps and you know you have soapy hat and gromulus that's going to be our two healers soapy has henry grom is sky and it looks like they're ready to start here so we're going to get this match rolling Alright, and it looks like here that the game's going to get started. Each team will have 30 seconds to assemble their heroes. The team starting on defense will be able to set up their position, get ready to stop the other team from trying to push that payload to the objective. There's going to be three objective points. The team to push it the furthest in the less amount of time is going to be better the more time that you have less on uh, left on the clock is going to be big and the other team is going to try to stop them so how wesley is going to be up here on defense they're going to set up with a sigma that's the tank you got soldier for dps may for dps you have henry playing zen and you have sky playing kiriko the other team here is going to have a Sigma as well, as well as a Soldier. They're going to have an Ash for that long range sniping. And then they're going to have a Mercy and Baptiste. And the other team's going to start pushing the payload. The Hot Wesleyan going for the high ground advantage here. You have Soldier down low. He's under the bridge by himself. And then you're going to have the other team constantly pushing up. This Mercy and Baptiste doing a good job of keeping their team alive as well as Kiriko and Zen. It looks like we're going to take some damage there. May's going to get pretty low and they're going to heal back up as well as Sigma. They're able to get that early pick there on the Ash, but they're going to get res by the Mercy. And so Ha Wesley keeping that high ground, trying to get that payload to move as slow as possible, stopping it. So now they're going to hold them right here. They're going to stay up top while you have this Mercy, Soldier, and Ash in this back line. They're going to try to get some damage going. Looks like here on Ohio Wesley, Kiriko's about to have their ult. That's going to be the first one of the game. We'll see when they decide to use that. Ohio Wesley taking some damage, but staying alive. They're able to get healed back up. Healer's doing a great job this game. So as well in the other team. They're taking damage, but it doesn't seem like they can get some picks right now. Sigma is going to use the ult for the other team. It's going to be able to pick off the May. You have Soldier ulting on our team for a Ha Wesleyan. He's not going to get any picks, but he's going to do some damage and make them push back. Sigma on the other team tries to push up on the high ground to take it from Ohio Wesleyan with Ohio Wesleyan holding their ground. Sigma on Ohio Wesleyan is going to hit a big alt but it looks like it's going to get cancelled there. The other team taking the high ground now, Ohio Wesleyan pushing back, that payload starting to move slowly but a big alt by Henry with Zen. It's going to keep the team alive, that's going to fill in for the Kiriko who was picked. They're going to do some damage on both sides of the team. It looks like that 
Our Zen is starting to get low here. Big Baptiste off. Oh, and a big Mayot. That's going to capture four out of the five members on the other team. They're going to be able to pick off the Mercy first. Now the Baptiste. Looks like they picked off the Ash on the other team. They're going to pick our May, who had that great and big alt there. And now you have Sigma and Soldier trying to hold it down. But they're not going to be able to push that payload to the first objective. That little check mark, checker board mark you see right there, this line on the ground, that's going to be the first checkpoint that they're going to need to push it to. They have 47 seconds left. If they cannot push it to that point, then the first round will be over and Ohio Wesley will get a chance to play offense. So now with the other team coming back, it's going to be the, still the same characters on both sides. There's no changes or adjustments made. You have Soldier and Ash with alt on the other team. And you have our Kiriko still with alt. Been saving it for this very end here, which is going to come in for a nice little counter. And you have Soldier getting alt. You have Sigma and Zen close. They're going to use Bob. Bob and Soldier all on the other team. They're going to be able to pick off the Zen, Kiriko, and Soldier. That's going to leave no healers for Ohio Wesley, and they're going to be able to get a team wipe here. Big play by Lone Key on the other team, Ash, Bob, and as well as Blackjack, Soldier. He just got a good team wipe. And so as they start to move the payload further, they're going to try to keep Ohio Wesleyan in this back line so they can push the payload as far up as they can. The new objective is right here, this circle. They're going to have to push the payload right to there. Ohio Wesleyan groups up and they come out. They're taking some damage, but they're kept alive by the healers. You had a single alt used on the May. They're going to be able to get picked. Zen comes in with the alt to save his team, but not enough time to save the May. And so you have the other team pushing the payload now. They're all the payload is grouped up with the rest of Ohio Wesleyan. So they're gonna have to stop it here. They were able to pick off the tank, Alex, who is currently playing Sigma, and there goes Luke who is playing Soldier, Henry who is playing Zen, and Sky on Kiriko. They all were picked, just leaving may all to themselves map. so the other team here gets it to the second objective there's three total this will be the last objective that they need to push it to if they make it to this objective the round will be over they currently have two minutes and 33 seconds left the more time you have left the better so it looks like the other team is going to try to keep this high ground here you have Ohio Wesleyan kind of on this middle ground. They're trying to stop the payload. Yes. Neither team giving up position. Ohio Wesleyan taking some damage. It looks like the tank and healer are starting to get low, but they get healed back up. An all by the Sigma on the other team. A big cleanse and lamp by the healers on Ohio Wesleyan. Baptiste and Kiriko were able to keep themselves alive. Has May and Ice Block and this big alt used by May and the Sigma that's gonna trap some characters, freezing them still, and they're able to get that hit. Another alt used by Germ. He's going to try to pick the Mercy. He's able to do it. Next up, he's going to try to get a pick on Soldier. He's unsuccessful, but we are able to keep the payload from moving any further. And so the max distance that the other team has taken it is 49.12 meters. The payload can move backwards, but it will record from the longest place that you've taken the payload. And so you have the other team trying to push up here. Both teams not giving up high ground. And it looks like they're going to get four picks here on Ohio Wesleyan. The other team pushing the payload. May trying to stop the payload, but is unfortunately not able to stay alive. 
as all of Ohio Wesleyan respawns. The other team is now going to have 40 seconds left. This is going to be the fourth quarter in order for them to stop the payload or for the other team to get it the whole three ejectors. Ohio Wesleyan dropping a Kiriko alt. They're trying to keep them from pushing it any further. Baptiste uses window on the other team. And it looks like we are going to lose Mercy and Ash on the other team and May on Ohio Wesleyan. There's an alt used by the enemy Sigma and they're able to hold their ground. There's overtime currently so they're out of time they need to push it all the way and if they do not then that's going to give Ohio Wesleyan the advantage once they're on offense Ohio Wesleyan is some great defense they're going to use Bob for the other team but there's going to be a great May wall to block that Bob is not going to be effective and they're going to be able to get the Mercy, Ash, and Sigma and that's going to be the end of round one it's going to be Ohio Wesleyan's turn to push the payload now, and they're going to be on offense. Let's see if they can stop the other team. Or see if they can um, push the payload further than the other team. Come into the second round, each team is going to have that 30 seconds to assemble their team. So it looks like they're going to go with Sigma, Ash, Junkrat, Zen, and Kiriko. They're going to keep the healers and tank the same, but they're going to switch it up here for DPS. It looks like there's going to be no changes made to the other team. They're going to keep their same starting lineup that they had. And let's see if that they can play defense and stop us from pushing the payload. But if we are able to push it further than they did, then we will win the game. And that will be the end of the three round matches. Um, but if they win, we'll have to go into a round three to decide the final match. Ohio Wesleyan pushing out the spawn. They're going to start pushing the payload. The other team is going to take that high ground just as we did in the first match. That's going to be crucial if they're able to keep that. If Ohio Wesleyan is able to take that early and get this payload rolling, that would be instrumental to their victory. And you have Cosmic Swarm Alex, that's the captain, trying to push up against that high ground. Currently a duel going on between the two Sigmas on each team. And Alex is playing really well. The Sigma on this other team is actually in the top 500. Um, so that is very impressive. He's a really skilled player just from what I've seen. Um, but Ohio Wesley not being intimidated and able to, you know, stop and really slow down the effects. We actually can spectate each tank here. You can see uh, just how intense this game really is. Um, it's very crazy um, abilities. You have to lock the cooldown. It gets very confusing at times. And now we can get a little spectate here on the other team's tank. You can see that he has all ready. Both teams definitely trying to stop the other team. And that's going to be a big alt there by the other team taking out our healer, Ash, and it looks like Bob is going to take out our right. And so that is going to take out Ohio Wesleyan, stopping them from moving the payload any further. As they come out of spawn, they'll be able to try again here, but again, the other team is going to take this high ground, trying to make it harder for them to push up. And it's going to be very hard, especially with that Ash and Soldier, people who really thrive on the high ground, especially Baptiste as well. Um, and he's going to use Window there, and that's going to be something that's going to stop them from pushing up. They're going to have to go back into cover just so they don't get picked there. 
and it looks like Junkrat and Kiriko is going to get picked. You have Sigma trying to get on the high ground, but he's the only one up there. Due to that, he's going to get picked off. It's going to leave us just with the Junkrat, Soldier, and Zen in the back line with Kiriko and Sigma responding here now. And so they're doing a really good job of holding this high ground this game. If Ohio Wesley is able to take this over, that would be very, very important for them to get past this first point. As Ohio Wesleyan comes back in, it looks like we're going to have four alts here available for the Sigma, Junkrat, and Sigma is going to use his alt, Zen has alt, and so does Kiriko. It looks like Junkrat's going to use his alt nets as well as Zen. They're going to go for a full push right here, the whole team staying alive. They're going to take out that Mercy, which is really important. She's not going to be able to get a res. They're going to take out the Baptiste along with the Ash. They're pushing the payload here. You have Soldier that's going to stay back and make sure that payload is moving. In order for the payload to move, you do have to have one teammate on the payload at all times. If the other team is on the payload while you're trying to move it, it won't move until they are off of the payload. Just for a better view right here, so they're going to camp on this high ground. It doesn't look like they're trying to stop the point quite yet. They're going to throw Bob on the point, which Bob is a great counter there because he's not going to be able to... To move the point but it looks like they take out Bob early both soldiers on each team are gonna alt but it looks like that Ohio Wesleyan is gonna win that fight the only one left on the point is Sigma they're gonna take him out they're gonna take out the Baptiste and they're gonna get a team kill they're gonna kill the entire team there so Ohio Wesleyan getting the first objective they need to push it to all three here basically um just about they need to push it as far as them so if they push it 82.52 meters ohio wesley will get the win today and so that is going to be two minutes about remaining on the clock they're going to start pushing this payload up this hill here with the tank alex up in the front and it looks like there's going to be all used by the enemy sigma they're going to be able to pick our tank and soldier that's going to be big they're going to have to fall back and so ha wesleyan whole team wipe they all get taken out so they'll have to try again here the payload will stop and move backwards until they get back on and move it further with the ha wesleyan responding here now it looks like they're going to get a quick easy pick on the soldier and it looks like we're going to get a quick, easy pick on the Ash. The Ash is going to get rezzed though by the Mercy. So now, with Soldier coming back, it's going to be full team for Ohio Wesleyan and the other team. Looks like there's going to be a pick there on the Zen. He has alt, which could be very important. But it's going to, oh, and it looks like they're going to use Window for Baptiste. They're trying to be very aggressive here. We have Sigma using off for a high Wesleyan, trying to get a pick. He's unsuccessful. You have Mercy, who's currently alting, keeping her team alive. With Zen back into the game there now, we have a 5-on-5 five five going on. It looks like a high Wesleyan is going to get low, but they're going to get saved by the Zen all. That's going to keep the full team alive. Kirko is going to offer Ohio Wesleyan, getting them an early tank pick. That's going to pick the Ash, Mercy, Baptiste, and Soldier as well. So they're going to get the second point here. Ohio Wesleyan now has 1 minute and 40 seconds to push the payload for the rest of the way. If they're able to get it just as far as the other team pushed it, that will be a win here for Ohio Wesleyan. We have the same teams as before, no changes coming out for the other team. It looks like we are not playing Junkrat anymore. Um, we are playing May. And so Ha Wesleyan still pushing the payload. It looks like the other team is going to go on this high ground here. They're going to try to slow them down, keep them from pushing the payload any further by...
All right, and so how Wesleyan just pushing the payload. The other team not dropping down yet. They drop down, but they're going to get walled off by the May. So that's going to leave Sigma by himself. So he's going to get early pick. Soldier's going to all on both teams. They're going to be able to pick the Baptiste and the Mercy. So they're left with no healers. Just going to be Soldier and Ash on the point. Ohio Wesleyan able to pick both his DPS. And that will be the game today. Ohio Wesleyan taking the win. And that will be no need for round three. All right, and so after talking to my buddy Kyle, I found out here that we are going into a third round. I was wrong. It's not best of three. It's best two, three. Um, so the other team here is still going to have a chance to come back and win if they can win the next three games. Um, or they can win the next two, and we could win the last game, causing us, you know, how Wesleyan to bring home that trophy. But it looks like we're going to have to keep playing here until we get that guaranteed last win. So there's no time to get comfortable, um, especially even there just being the littlest chance that the other team can come back. They'll have to start hard off the fresh and uh, try to get the dub.
All right, and so now that we're coming into the third match here, if Ohio Wesleyan is able to get this win, they're going to be able to bring home the win here um, for the all three matches. They're going to have to win three total. They've won two so far. The other team has gotten zero, so they're on a big 2-0 lead right now. They can play a total of five matches. And so the battle here is going to start. They're going to prepare to attack. There's going to be 30 seconds here on this clock. They're going to have to push the payload. Or, sorry, not push the payload. They're going to have to capture the point, um, is what I meant to say. And so the point that they're going to have to capture, there's going to be a total of three of them. And so the first to capture three points in this game mode is going to win. And it looks like they're going to take a pause here. Um, that was going to be by the Captain Alex. And so we have just a short lineup here for you guys. Alex again, Sigma. And then we're going to have Luke playing Soldier again as well, Matt on May. You're going to have Henry playing Lucio and Sky playing Kiriko. On the other team, you're gonna have a Junkrat as our Junkrat as their DPS, a Genji as their DPS as well, Junker Queen as their tank, Kiriko as a healer, and Moira as their healer. After we just went over the lineups here, now it looks like they're gonna start and pause again. It looks like we're gonna have to restart here. Not sure what went on, but something. Um, Something with looks like Ohio Wesleyan. They're the ones that restarted the match. And so the map here is going to be New Junk City. Just a reminder, that's going to be three points that they're going to have to capture. Their points are going to be separate. It's going to be one point at a time. Um, once you capture a point, then that's going to be going towards one team. And so you'll have to capture three total. And while we wait for this game to start, I just want to say we appreciate everybody who is viewing today, supporting our esports team here at Ohio Wesleyan. These guys are really great people, and you know they just love playing the game. So it's really cool to see them go out here and just do what they love to do. Um, hopefully they can get this win here once the game starts up and we'll be able to take the first win here for Ohio Wesleyan. And so it looks like they're going to get started up here, each team confirming that they are ready to go. And so they're going to have another 30 seconds here to assemble their team. And we'll see what each team decides to go with. This is going to be the first point here. Um, so the percentage there at the top that you see with the number zero next to it, each percentage once you capture a point will go up until you reach 100%. Once a team reaches 100%, then they have captured that point and they'll move on to the next one. And so you're going to have, it looks like, the same lineup for each team, but it looks like instead of a Baptiste, 
they're going with a Moira as long, along with a Kiriko. So Ohio Wesleyan still in spawn waiting for the game to start. It's going to start here in less than 10 seconds. You got 5 seconds here left on the clock. Alright, and so this game mode is called Flashpoint. And it's going to get started here now. This point here is going to unlock and open in 15 seconds. Once that happens, they'll be able to capture it. And so you're going to see both teams coming out of the gate being aggressive. It looks like Ohio Wesleyan is going to push more over to the enemy side, causing them to fall back a bit. You have each team pretty high on health. Not a lot of damage going in. A shout by Jungle Queen's going to keep her team alive. And there's going to be a nice cleanse by Kiriko, but it's not going to be enough to save the Junkrat. Ohio Wesleyan able to pick off Junkrat. Now Junker Queen, that's going to cause them to be advantage of 5 against 3. They're going to be aggressive, push back a little bit. They are going to be able to pick off the Moira, pushing the other team back. They're all going to respawn and regroup. And so they capture the point. They're going to get it up to about 40 seconds. Or 40%, sorry. And they're going to try to hold this right here. The enemy team spawn is right here with our spawn on the other side. And so the team is going to switch from Junker Queen to Ramatra. They're going to go for a little bit less uh, more aggressive attack. They're going to try to counter our Sigma here, which is Alex. Ohio Wesleyan is doing a great job of not backing down, defending their ground. They're going to take that first point here, it looks like. They're going to change from Moira to Lucio on the other team. So now you have a Ramatra, Soldier, Junkrat, Kiriko, and Lucio. And we're going to keep our same squad here for Ohio Wesleyan. And we're going to get close to each of our alts as well. And so as the other team respawns after we got that first point out of three, they're going to be aggressive. Ohio Wesleyan is going to try to keep that ground right in front of the point so they can capture it. The other team trying to desperately fight their way in. As they push to the point, the flashpoint is unlocking in five sec seconds. They're going to be able to pick off our tank in May. Lucio with the ult, and that's not going to be enough to keep the point from being taken. It looks like the other team is going to take the point. Ohio Wesleyan responding, and so the other team here is going to try to defend them. Ohio Wesleyan coming from their spawn, which is over here. You can see Lucio entering and exiting out of the spawn now. And so, Ohio Wesleyan is trying to get this point back, but it looks like Ramatra is going to use a really big alt right here. It's going to take out Soldier, Kiriko, and the Lucio. We have Mei, who just got picked off Sigma, and he's going to get killed as well. That's going to be a full team wipe. So you have Ohio Wesleyan returning here now. The other team is going to get it up to 70%. And you can see that if they get this point here, it's going to be one-to-one. -one. It's going to be big for Ohio Wesleyan to try and get this point to get an early lead and not let them tie up the game. Ohio Wesleyan, the starting tank for us here, Alex, also the captain is going to use a really big alt, the starting DPS, Luke, soldier is going to use a big alt as well, we're going to also just had an alt used from our freshman who's a starter, Sky, and that's going to be big as well, and so it looks like here that we have May, the only one with alt, that's going to be big for trying to defend the point. Junkrat on the other team and Kiriko have all and Soldier as well So that's going to be really big for them in order to take back this point. They got up to 99% Ohio Wesleyan halfway there with 50. Junkrat's going to use his ult 
tires coming in and it's going to be successful in picking our tank and soldier may with a great all it's going to freeze the lucio kiriko and the soldier they'll be able to defend off the point it looks like the other team doesn't have any healers right now but they're able to be successful taking out our lucio and may it's going to go into a little bit over time, but Ohio Wesleyan is not going to be able to touch. So the other team is going to take this second point. The score of one to one. They'll have to be able to take the next point and able to get a lead on this game. Tied now one to one. Ohio Wesleyan with some changes here. It looks like the tank Alex is going to change from Sigma to Arisa. There's no other changes made from either team. Flashpoint unlocks in 10 seconds. And so we have the other team here now, both trying to fight for this point. Both teams doing a lot of damage, not able to get picks. Healers on both sides doing a great job of keeping their team alive. As they're fighting here now, you have our tank Alex here trying to build up his ult. You have Soldier almost with his ult, and Lucio's gonna have his ult, but he's gonna get picked. You're gonna have Kiriko using her ult for the other team. That's gonna cause our team to fall back a bit. And they're gonna get some picks on Ohio Wesleyan here. They're gonna take our tank Alex as well as our healer Kiriko. Ramacha is gonna use all for the other team here. It's gonna be a really big all. He's gonna be able to take out the Lucio, Soldier, and the May. And so that will leave us with two people left for Ohio Wesleyan. The other team getting up to 70% here. They're going to have to take this point soon and try to stop it from getting any higher because that will be very important for them. And we have Germ Luke making a change here. He's going to go from Soldier to Reaper. It looks like Soldier on the other team is going to use his ult, but it's going to get countered by Lucio's ult. They're going to be able to pick our Kiriko. May using her alt here. That's going to trap the junk rat. It looks like they're able to kill four of their team, and now it's the whole team. And so, how Wesley taking the point, building it up to 30% here now. The other team at 97%. If they can hold this point here and not let them take it like last time, that would be big. But they do have junk rat tire as well as Lucio's sound um, barrier. And so let's see if that's going to be able to stop. And so Ha Wesley using the high ground. Lucio dropping the beat right there. He's going to keep his team alive while Ha Wesley not dying. Their healers doing a great job. And so you have the Reapers over here fighting. Cosmic Swarm's going to step in. Junkrat dropping tire. That's going to. Oh, he's gonna miss. He went for the soldier, or he went for the reaper, but he was able to phase. You have Luke using his ult there. Ohio Wesleyan reaching, reaching 99%. They're gonna take that point, and they're gonna get the lead here. What a big comeback. The other team was at 97%. Ohio Wesleyan able to take the point, get it up to 99%, and hold it down. They're gonna take the lead here, 2-1. to one. If they can get another win here, that will be the end of this match. And so they need to get this last point. As the teams rotate to this next point, you have Ohio Wesleyan on the point and they're gonna try to hold it down and get there as soon as possible. Kiriko and the other team's gonna use it all. They're gonna try to be aggressive here and take us out to the point as fast as possible. And with Kiriko all and Ramatra on the other team, they're gonna take out our Lucio, they're gonna take out our May, and it's gonna cause our team to fall back. You have Kiriko and getting picked off by junk or let's see. Oh, and that's gonna be our tank as well, Alex. And so that's gonna be the whole team. They're gonna need to regroup and try to take this point. The other team taking it with 30% currently. 
And so with Ohio Wesleyan leading the game right now, they're going to have to take this point back to end it here. The other team is going to have to desperately defend in order to not only stop this game, but stop the match entirely for them to come back and have a chance to win. Reaper's going to go straight for point. May's going to drop her off. That's going to be a really big off. That's going to get the jump grab. And oh, Reaper on the other team is going to use off. That's going to take out Kiriko. And so we're going to be able to take out the other team tank, Ramacha, Junkrat, and their Lucio. That's going to leave them with only a Reaper and Kiriko. They're going to fall back into the back line. The other team is going to regroup here. They have everybody coming back out of spawn. They're going to need to push up and take this point back so they don't want to repeat of last time. They got up to 76% Ohio Wesleyan coming up to 40% point here. And so with Ohio Wesleyan capturing the point, they're going to play defense on this high ground. May blocking off the tank from the healer and DPS. Kiriko able to teleport and save him though. Tank is doing low. They picked off the jump grab, but the Lucio comes in with a save, saving the other team here. They're going to pick off the Kiriko and Ramatra is going to ult, but it looks like Reaper ult here is going to keep them and nope it looks like they're gonna get picked lucio is the only one that's on point he's going to drop the beat try to keep himself alive here make it so they can't capture the point he gets it up to 99 percent the other team capturing the point at 80 percent if ohio wesleyan can take the point back right here that would be the end of this match but i don't know if they'll be able to touch you have kiriko running towards point they're going to be able to touch right now and so oh and it looks like the other kiriko is going to drop their all kiriko on our team is going to get picked and it looks like they picked the kiriko on the other team as well and so even 4v4 fight going on right here really big alt combo that's going to be by the Orisa and May. You can hear them cheering in the next room. They know this game is about to be over and that's 99% by the clapping and the yelling. You know that they are very happy with this win today. Ohio Wesleyan beating them three to zero. What a great game. You can't ask for anything better. All right, well, thank you everybody for tuning in today, watching the game and supporting us. I hope you all have a great rest of your day. Um, and I hope you come to spectate us next time that we have a game. Go Woo!